Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riala, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Joining us today from Charlottesville, Virginia, Andrea Johnson, transformational leadership coach, owner of The Intentional Optimist, also podcast host at Stand Tall and Own It. So Andrea, what is impactful leadership? Oh, Tom, I'm so glad you asked. Thank you. Uh, Moving from imitating other people's principles and priorities to defining your own for sustainable, impactful leadership. It's acting in authority with your own convictions. It's enjoying and being empowered by the work that you do. And it's having the confidence to set and honor your own boundaries and facilitate change. All of those things make us impactful and magnetic leaders. When you say authority, that sort of like a strong word for some people. Doesn't it? And it feels really empowering when you know that about yourself. When you know who you are, then you have the authority to say, this is what I will and won't do do or show up for. This is where I can show up for you. This is how I can help you. This is what where my boundaries are. All of those things give us the authority to stand tall. Like mm-hmm. I say in my podcast, stand tall and own it. I like to talk about a tree. The taller the tree, the deeper the taproot. Mm-hmm. And when you have a really good taproot, you're not going to be knocked over in the first storm. So that's what I mean when I'm talking about the authority to act in accordance with my own convictions. It's beautiful. And I saw on your LinkedIn profile, you show their transformational leadership coach for high achieving female founders. That's Mm -hmm. pretty specific. Women who have started, have done something, they've created a business, right? Sure. I do work with executives, but my passion is for women who are willing to step out of the CEO or the corporate language or the corporate structure. I spent 25 years in higher education schools of medicine. So I'm very familiar Mm -hmm. with what it's like to be inside that kind of structure Mm -hmm. and stepping outside of it has really allowed me to become all of that, all the things that I was created to be. And so when another woman says, I want to do that, I am all in. (laughs) And it seems, and that seems, it's reality, let's say in the recent years, more women are stepping out. Uh, First of all, they they found it difficult to step up and step in. And so they just come to the the conclusion that I'm going to do it by myself. Well, and there's all kinds of analogies we could use with glass ceilings or like false cliffs that women are set up with a CEO of a company that's failing. And so they fall off and then Mm -hmm. they have to start over. But for me, I was trying for years to be who I was created to be. And I just couldn't not inside that structure. And I am blessed to be able to have a partner that allows me to do that and supports me in all that I do. But I, I realized that not all women have that. So I want to step up and be that kind of a partner for them and be that with them. Yeah, that's part of the equation. And what we do see here in Brazil is the same. Uh, Women just choose to do it alone. If they can't find a partnership that adds or unfortunately detracts, just do it by, go on your own. Right. I'm very inspired by a lot of the single mothers that I I talk to and I work with and I'm um, in in contact with networking here in the Charlottesville area because I'm not a single mom, but I see how how all of the skills that they develop translate into starting your own business. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. Um, But I think the most important thing to realize is that we have a unique set of skills, wiring, personality traits, all that we can bring to whatever situation we're in. And when it's something that we want to do and that we have a passion for, Mm -hmm. then we truly dive in. And it just, it's amazing how well women can do when you just get out of the way. Many times we highlight the multifunction ability of women. Mm-hmm. Many times I think we, we have a, there's a misconception about the emotional part. Because today when we you look know? in today's world, when we're talking about empathy, about connection. Exactly. And women have that. Men don't. I had for two years in my podcast, I interviewed a lot of women to learn different leadership mm-hmm. skills and how they were showing up uniquely. And I had a fascinating conversation with a financial planner. Mm-hmm. And she said that women actually make better investors because they are aren't actually working on their emotions. They're thinking logically about it, but they only buy products that they <laughs> that they know and use. Men are interested in winning. Women are interested in the long game. And right, I think yeah. when you look at that, the emotional intelligence that we have, that our natural nurturing ability gives mm. us the gives us that edge in being able to say, I can be in this for the long game. I don't have to beat the person next to me. And I think that's one of the things that gives women that longevity, the ability to actually do the the thing that's different. 
Well, I agree that, you know, that's just the strategic overview. Women have that. They've created mm -hmm. that. If you're thinking even of, of a family, mm -hmm. uh, you have to look out strategically. And men are tactic, but the same thing in Brazil. You just want to kick the ball and get it going, and they're not really worried about getting across the goal. They just want to see movement. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, it's it's fun every week, you know, looking at our family calendar. And I only have one son who's a 15 year old, but looking at our family calendar, I'm the one who does it. Okay, we have these things this week. We have to make sure that we do this. <laughs> So using those skills in our business as we show up for ourselves um, and applying them to ourselves, because, you know, a lot of times we're not willing to say, this is who I am and this is the wonderful work that I do. Mm -hmm. And so being able to help other women see that the leadership skills they have are inherent mm -hmm. is a real privilege. Well, what you do, you, you reach out to people throughout the world. Are you local? What's your client I, I happily reach out to people across the world. I grew up in Seoul, Korea, so I am. I have friends all over the world that I graduated from high school with. If I, if you take the thirty of us that graduated from high school, you're going to put pins all over the globe. <laughs> But I do a lot of work locally. I do a lot of work online, and mm -hmm. I, you know, my top. Uh, skill for Clifton Strengths is Relator. And so I love being able to see another person's face. And when I do that, my core values of authenticity and freedom of thought and belonging show up. And I actually can create safe spaces right there in a Zoom call or in another coaching call, working with women, <clears throat> pardon me, helping them figure out how to best show up as themselves. So I work globally, sure. Very good. And I can see that. And also podcasting, really, you have a global reach. You bet. You know, you bet. I'm always the surprised. Podcasting is not local in any sense. No, I'm always surprised at my stats. I go in and look. I'm like, oh, we have new listeners in India. Oh, we have plenty of listeners in Australia. How did that happen? I'm always grateful for it. But the more the more we reach, the the smaller the globe gets. And I think it's important to see how we are the same and how we work together. Now, and people do reach out, and specifically women in other countries reach out sometimes more because they're looking. As you say, the the intentional optimist. Uh, yes, they're looking for something, the plus side. Yes, yes, the plus side. There's so much so much talk about depression and negativity, mm -hmm. so it is inspiring in itself just to see the intentional optimist. Just to yeah, see there's that a purpose before. behind that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not something that we naturally fall into. It has to be right. purposeful, and I have a a, a whole attitudes and mindsets, six mm -hmm. tenets of intentional optimism that I walk my clients through that helps them understand how to react to and approach the instances that and the circumstances that they're currently in. So it's, it, I, I love that program. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and um, it's something that has helped me come out of some really dark times and decide how I'm going to show up. Very good. So how can our listeners find you? The Intentional Optimist, anywhere I am, you can find me on Google, you can find me on Instagram and LinkedIn, I respond to DMs there, but definitely interact with my YouTube podcast or my Apple, you know, Apple, Spotify, whatever audio podcast, mm -hmm. because I'm happy to hear from you and I would love to know how I can help you better. Very good. Well, thanks again for being here. Congratulations on what you do. Thank you, Tom. And for our listeners, it's Andrea Johnson, A-N-D-R-E-A, -E the last name J-O-H-N-S-O-N. -O -O Find her at her site, the in, theintentionaloptimist.com, theintentionaloptimist.com. You also find her on LinkedIn and TikTok. Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at focusmi.com. Talk to Tom, talk to the world. Thanks for listening. Till the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast.